Good morning guys. So today I wanted to play with a little bit of acrylic. I love acrylic. It's been a minute since I picked it up. I've been doing a lot of art videos. So I do not remember any of the names of anything that I'm using right now. I will make sure to uh, address that and tell you what they are in the description box below. But right now I am using a pinky nude color. It's, for, it's on the lighter side of pink and just applying it ever so gently with my favorite brush and stroking it down. When I do glitter ombres, nine out of 10 times, I like to do the nude pink part first, and then here you see the glitter going on top of it. If you do it the other way, it's not a problem. It has a really nice smooth ombre. It just is, gives it a different feel. This one has a little bit more glitter and sparkliness to it, whereas the other one, you'll see it on my uh, picture at the end and the beginning of the video, it had, you know, just it's just a different look. Capping it all in with my Diamond Crystal Clear Acrylic. At least I remembered that name. It's pretty early, you guys. Gonna go ahead and slowly guide it and pull it down. As you guys can see, I'm working in real time today and I just love acrylic. I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. There's something wrong with me. I just, I love it. So smooth that all out. Add another bead if needed. Remember, I do a lot of my shaping on the nail with the brush instead of having to rely on a file too much. You know, I love filing because I like physically seeing the shape come in, but I absolutely just, I'm a lazy, efficient nail tech, shape with your brush, buff it, dust it. Now, I could have just gone in with my white color gel, but I didn't, I am, I'm OCD. So here's some base gel. This is gonna smooth out and give me a slightly sticky layer to kind of play with the gel. This is, you guys know me, I love my white cream, 001 Johan's gel. It's just so pigmented and it glides so smoothly. It self levels. It's just really quite fabulous. I'm gonna go and you'll notice whenever I pick up a, I'm gonna call it a bead, whatever. When I pick up a bead of paint, I start further away from my design and then I kind of pull the product and guide it to where I want it to go. I usually do my outline first and kind of slightly fill in. So you see how the left side is not smooth like the right side is right there. I'm gonna kind of do a little round little thing and get that completely filled in and make sure that that is good to go. I like to add little details into mine, make it look a little bit more, um, I don't know, more multi-dimensional. So I added that little cutaway I guess we can call that some negative space in the middle of that flame. But see how I kind of just bring it on up and smooth out the lines, make sure everything looks as clean as possible. I'm taking this all the way to the free edge so that way you don't see any of the glitter acrylic on the sides. But if you flip it over, you'll be able to see underneath just because I'm crazy and I like to do things like that. Cure that in the lamp, you guys. Add your top coat or, you know, matte, whatever. I like glitter to be shiny today. I'm in a shiny mood, so that's what I'm going to go with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have an amazing day. Bye.